Hello and welcome to this Line Dash animated typeface tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you a quick overview of how to get this animated typeface up and running and what's available inside. So when you open it up, this is what you get. A sample animated layer that has just a line dash spelled out, which is attached to a null. Um, so all of the characters are inside this line dash folder and then the settings are found in this line dash metrics which has if you select the settings and go to effects you have the highlight color the main color and the width of the uh, following part of following lines these orange guys right here so if I go back to the sample and just lock it, click that little lock, go to the line metrics, select settings, and I can choose a color that I like. Let's go with white, and let's go with some blue. Colors update automatically. And then the width, you can see here, you can make it giant or you can make it basically zero. So just your personal setting, personal preference, and do what you want, and completely customizable that way. Um, another thing, uh, if you want to scale this up really big, you can. So make sure you turn on the uh, um, collapse uh, transformation, which basically means everything will be uh, vectorized. So when you scale it up, it scales up without a problem. You won't be getting any pixelation, but I recommend not scaling it up too high because uh, if you scale it up too high, the exact corners of some of the type falls apart. Like you can just tell on this L right here, it doesn't butt the very corner together. It's not exactly uh, touching. Um, just like little small things like that would be a problem if you want to make it extremely large but usually if you're doing something in 2k or 1080p or 3k even even 4k maybe depending on the size uh, you should be completely fine um, so yeah just watch out for that um, and then everything as you notice if you just go back in this L everything is completely in shape layers so if you're planning on uh, making any modifications, you can do that because nothing is pre-rendered. So all the uh, keyframes are laid out here. You can modify them however you see fit. And then this line dash metric is the original folder that has the settings in it, which is used in conjunction with the characteristic script if you have that. So let me just make one real quick sample for you. Show you how you can get up and running. Let's change the background color. So I know I have a white in there. All right. So I'm just going to say hello. Hit H. If I can grab it. H E. L, L, O, and jump a little bit ahead and just space these out proportionally. And you got hello, and then just offset these a little bit to get a little bit more randomness to it. And you're off and running. Um, if you were going to use the characteristic script, which I recommend doing, if you if you would like to use uh, animated typefaces quite often, definitely look into getting that. What you do is pull up the characteristic script, uh, you set the typeface folder, which is line dash, so you just set, and then 
it should automatically have this use metrics check mark so you don't have to worry about that um, and then animate uh, if you would like to have a few extra functionalities in there you can have animate checked um, but if you have like a longer scene it can slow down your uh, render times just keep that in mind stagger would be the staggering of uh, exactly what this is staggering the layers to make them not come on all at the same time and you can do a few different ones like first last and random um, and then text you just type in hello and create and boom everything's automatically spaced out correctly and you can just scale it up to the size needed and that took you know just a few seconds compared to dragging each letter out spacing them out much easier um, I think that's all pretty easy no plugins are required. Oh, um, if you click on this null again, you'll have a few extra options. Since I had the animate button checked, I have uh, tracking, which I can animate. Um, and I can change like it to be centered. So uh, you can have the tracking come in like such. Uh, you can, after the fact, change like uh, randomly having Randomly having when the uh, solo these guys. Randomly having when they come in. <clears throat> so right now it's 105 frames. So you see there's quite a bit of randomness going on. Um, you can change the seed. Stagger frames. Let's drop that to zero. Just make this 10. And. Boom. Pretty fun, yeah. So one final note, if you're planning on using two different color options like I have in the preview video, similar to this, like the uh, you got the dark black and then the white, if you want to do something similar to that, have a little variation to your project, you would need to do this little thing um, or else the expressions will not transfer correctly. Uh, so let's just say this one is main color is yellow so let's just rename this yellow and rename this metrics uh, composition yellow as well uh, but make sure you keep the metric at the very end uh, you might get an error but it should be able to be fixed uh, without doing anything um, it should be fixed automatically Anyways, so now that you have the yellow in there, you can uh, just bring in the file again into the composition, and you should have everything transfer over correctly. Uh, so jump into the line dash again, and let's just name this one white. And keep the metric at the very end and jump in here change the setting to white and check to make sure it went correctly so now we have a white A and then let's go over to the yellow and make sure this is yellow and it's yellow so that's just the one um, thing you got to be aware of if you're planning on using more than one of these you need to rename the metrics pre-comp before importing the um, typeface again. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks.